65 million years ago, the sun rose over the vast, untamed plains of prehistoric North America. The air was thick with the scent of pine and the distant rumble of thunder. This was a world ruled by giants, a world where survival was a daily battle, and only the strongest thrived. Among these giants, one name has echoed through the ages, Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Tyrant King. But long before the T-Rex claimed its throne, another predator roamed these lands, a predator just as fearsome, if not more so. This is the story of Despletosaurus, the T-Rex's savage big brother, a dinosaur that redefined what it meant to be an apex predator. What if I told you that the T-Rex wasn't the first king of the Cretaceous? What if I told you that its reign was built on the legacy of an even more terrifying predator, a predator that was larger, stronger, and more brutal than anything the world had ever seen? This is the untold story of Despletosaurus, the forgotten titan that paved the way for the Tyrant King. Buckle up, because this journey will take you deep into the heart of the Cretaceous, where danger lurked around every corner and survival was a game of teeth, claws, and raw power. The story of Daspletosaurus begins in the badlands of Alberta, Canada, where paleontologists unearthed a fossil that would rewrite the history of Tyrannosaurs. Unlike many dinosaur discoveries, which are often fragmentary and incomplete, the first Daspletosaurus specimen was remarkably well preserved. It included a complete skull, over 50% of the body, and a treasure trove of vertebrae. This wasn't just another dinosaur, this was a monster. At first, scientists were baffled. The fossil bore a striking resemblance to Gorgosaurus, a well-known Tyrannosaur. For decades, it was misclassified as a new species of Gorgosaurus. But as more fossils were discovered, a different picture began to emerge. This was no ordinary predator. It was bulkier, more robust, and built like a tank. Its skull was wider, its teeth more formidable, and its body denser than any Tyrannosaur ever seen before. This was Daspletosaurus, the frightful lizard. The name Despletosaurus comes from the Greek words despleto, meaning frightful, and saurus, meaning lizard, and frightful it was. This was a predator designed for one thing, domination. So what made Despletosaurus so special? Let's start with its size. While not quite as large as the T-Rex, Despletosaurus was still a behemoth. Adults measured between 8.5 and 9 meters in length, stood 2.2 meters, tall at the hips, and weighed up to 3 tons. But some specimens, like the infamous Pete III, pushed the limits even further, reaching a staggering 11 meters, 36 feet in length, and weighing an astonishing 5.5 tons. This made Despletosaurus the second largest tyrannosaur to ever walk North America, a true titan of its time. But size wasn't its only advantage. Despletosaurus was built for power. Its skull was a masterpiece of evolutionary engineering, with fused nasal bones for added strength and air pockets to reduce weight without sacrificing durability. Its jaws were lined with over 60 teeth, each one designed to crush bone and tear through flesh. Studies suggest that Daspletosaurus had one of the strongest bite forces of any Tyrannosaur, second only to the T-Rex. This was a predator that could pulverize armor, shatter bones, and take down the largest herbivores of its era. And then there were its arms. While most Tyrannosaurs are known for their comically short limbs, Despletosaurus had the longest arms relative to its body size of any Tyrannosaur. These arms weren't just for show, they were deceptively strong, with thick bones and powerful muscles that allowed Despletosaurus to grasp and hold on to struggling prey. Combined with its heavy muscular tail for balance, this predator was a force to be reckoned with. Despletosaurus wasn't just strong, it was smart. Its hunting strategy was a deadly combination of brute force and precision. Like its descendant, the T-Rex, Despletosaurus likely used a puncture and pull technique. It would deliver a devastating bite to its prey, using its powerful jaws to grip and tear away massive chunks of flesh. This method wasn't just efficient, it was brutal, often leaving its victims with catastrophic injuries. But Despletosaurus had another trick up its sleeve, its senses. Recent studies suggest that Despletosaurus had integumentary sensory organs, large, plate-like structures on its snout that may have allowed it to detect prey, sense temperature changes, and even modulate the force of its bite. These sensory organs, similar to those found in modern crocodilians, would have made Daspletosaurus an even more effective hunter, capable of tracking prey in the dark or sensing vibrations in the ground. And then there's the question of speed. While Daspletosaurus wasn't the fastest predator, its robust build and powerful legs allowed it to ambush prey with surprising agility. Imagine a five-ton predator 
lunging out of the shadows, its jaws wide open, ready to deliver a bone-crushing bite. That's the kind of terror Dasplitosaurus brought to the Cretaceous. But Dasplitosaurus wasn't just a solitary hunter. Evidence suggests that it may have lived and hunted in groups. Fossilized remains of multiple individuals have been found together, including a group of three Dasplitosaurus specimens discovered alongside five Hadrosaurus skeletons. This has led some paleontologists to believe that Dasplitosaurus lived in family-based packs, with younger, faster members working together to bring down prey while the older, stronger individuals delivered the killing blow. But life in a pack wasn't always peaceful. Dasplitosaurus was a fierce competitor, and intraspecific conflict was common. Bite marks on skulls and bones reveal a dark side to this predator's social structure. Fights over territory, resources, and dominance were a regular occurrence. In some cases, these conflicts turned deadly, with evidence of fatal attacks and even cannibalism. Life as a Dasplitosaurus was a constant battle, not just against prey, but against its own kind. And then there's the question of why. Why would a predator as powerful as Dasplitosaurus turn on its own? The answer may lie in its environment. The late Cretaceous was a time of extreme climate fluctuations, with periods of drought, volcanic activity, and sea level changes. These conditions would have put immense pressure on Dasplitosaurus populations, forcing them to compete for scarce resources. In such a world, cannibalism may have been a grim but necessary survival strategy. Dasplitosaurus didn't rule alone. Sharing its environment was another formidable predator, Gorgosaurus. While similar in size, the two Tyrannosaurs were built for different roles. Gorgosaurus was lighter and faster, with a more streamlined body designed for chasing down agile prey. Dasplitosaurus, on the other hand, was a tank, slow but incredibly powerful, with a bite force that could crush bone. This difference in anatomy likely allowed the two predators to coexist, each occupying its own ecological niche. Gorgosaurus hunted smaller, faster prey, while Dasplitosaurus targeted larger, more heavily armored herbivores. But that's not to say they didn't clash. Fossil evidence suggests that conflicts between the two were inevitable, with Dasplitosaurus often coming out on top thanks to its superior strength and durability. And then there's the question of territory. Dasplitosaurus was more common in the southern regions of Laramedia, the western part of North America during the late Cretaceous, while Gorgosaurus dominated the north. This geographical separation may have helped reduce direct competition, but it also raises intriguing questions about how these two predators interacted. Did they avoid each other, or did they engage in epic battles for dominance? The fossil record may yet hold the answers. So, what happened to Dasplitosaurus? Why did this fearsome predator disappear, leaving the stage clear for the T-Rex? The answer lies in the ever-changing world of the Cretaceous. Dasplitosaurus was a creature of its time, perfectly adapted to the environment of late Cretaceous North America. But as the climate shifted and new predators emerged, its reign came to an end. Some scientists believe that Dasplitosaurus was a direct ancestor of the T-Rex, evolving over millions of years into the tyrant king we know today. Others argue that it was a separate branch of the Tyrannosaur family tree, a cousin rather than a predecessor. Whatever the case, one thing is clear, Dasplitosaurus was a pioneer, a predator, that pushed the boundaries of what a Tyrannosaur could be. Its legacy lives on in the T-Rex, a testament to the power and ferocity of this forgotten giant. And then there's the bigger picture. The story of Dasplitosaurus is a reminder that evolution is a complex, messy process. It's not a straight line from one species to another, but a branching tree with countless twists and turns. Dasplitosaurus may not have been the T-Rex, but it was a crucial part of the story, a stepping stone on the path to one of the most iconic predators in history. The story of Dasplitosaurus is a reminder that history is written by the victors. For too long, this incredible predator has been overshadowed by its more famous relative. But as we uncover more fossils and piece together the puzzle of the past, the truth is becoming clear. Dasplitosaurus was a king in its own right, a predator that ruled the Cretaceous with an iron fist, or rather, an iron jaw. So the next time you think of the T-Rex, remember its savage big brother. Remember the Dasplitosaurus, the frightful lizard that paved the way for the Tyrant King. Because in the world of dinosaurs, there's always more to the story than meets the eye. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of Dasplitosaurus, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the fascinating world of prehistoric life. Let us know in the comments, do you think Dasplitosaurus was the T-Rex's ancestor, or was it a separate branch of the Tyrannosaur family tree? 
Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of our planet's past.